Set your Wayback Machine to 1984. Today we celebrate the first glorious anniversary of the information purification that we have created. I need a username. And I have a great one. Welcome back to the channel. This is DKOG73, and tonight we're gonna play a little dig dive. Why? I got an awesome story. It goes way back to 1984. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. Why am I playing on the arcade one up? Well, I just converted it to a 16 one, and it's playing awesome. So it's a great opportunity to uh, share a cool story. It's gonna be super raw tonight. We are one people, we are one women. One resolve, one cause. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Here we go. Let's play some Dig Dug. So set your Wayback Machine to 1984. There was a Barlow's Pizza right by our house in Covina, California. And we loved going to Barlow's Pizza. Great pizza. And uh, we loved playing games. They had a lot of great games there. They had Dragon's Lair. They had VR Kung Fu, they had Pole Position, Tempest. They also had Dig Dug. And a few times we went to Barrow's with my best friend and his family. Later on, they would actually be my foster family. They're amazing people. So I just want to preface this story. It's going to sound kind of brutal. They're amazing. Some of the best people ever. Now, the very first time I ever saw a computer game it was at my friend's house. It was Zork. The year is 1976. Video game fans are playing Atari's breakout hit in the arcade, hooked on the gameplay and graphics. But four MIT programmers are addicted to adventure. A Dungeons and Dragons inspired text game with imaginary gameplay and no graphics. It's all in their heads. So we, we were able to play some computer games here and there back in the day, but mostly we were playing Atari 400, Atari 800. Atari brings you a dazzling variety of software for the Atari home computer. Billy, really? Dad and I think you're old enough now. What's that? Atari software. That's soft. It's what you put into the computer to make it work. Software that keeps track of things. Where's my allowance? Software like Pac-Man. Atari is the only home computer that has it. And Pilot, the language that makes programming easy. Software to educate, challenge, excite. Someday, Billy, this will all be yours. Really? You wanted to play Galaxian, Pac-Man, or Dig Dug? They played absolutely amazing on the 400-800. So we won Nintendo. And my dad was, a, my dad, my foster dad, at the time it was my best friend's dad, was uh, playing Dig Dug and he realized he got super addicted to Dig Dug. Why are we still moving towards it? He made it a point to say no consoles in this house, only PCs. He didn't want us to, you know, be sucked into the Nintendo Vortex and... We're caught in a tractor beam that's pulling us in. And, uh, there we go. Oh, and I get him. Oh, I missed him. Well, the Nintendo came out and we like just begged and pleaded, please get us a Nintendo, it's Super Mario Brothers. The Mario! 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 So he finally got us one, and of course, we were sucked in. We were blown it. He'd ask us to do things, we didn't do them. He came home one day, and of course, we hadn't done what we were supposed to do, and this is probably like the hundredth time. And he grabbed our Nintendo, nonchalantly, yeah. <laughs> walked outside, and drop kicked it. And this thing exploded in like a bazillion pieces. Oh, almost died right there. Let's see if I can get this guy right here. Oh, I didn't get him. I'll get him all though right here. Watch this. This is cool. Ready? 
Oh, I got him just in time. Do I need to be liked? Absolutely not. I like to be liked. Fast forward five years later to 1989. I'm living with the family. Again, amazing people. Some of the best people in my life have helped me tremendously. Uh, through these, oh no, I missed them. That's not good. I gotta get this guy quick. Oh, I'm about to die. Don't say that. No. Yeah, I'm gonna die there fast. Never say that. Goonies never say die. So he drop kicks the Nintendo, pieces go flying. I come over, I'm like, where's the Nintendo? Oh, it, it's, it's toast. Uh, Got drop kick. Oh, got him. Fast forward five years later, my dad has a computer business. He's got this little HP laptop with like a, a, a chromium black and white display. And um, he's told us, he said, you, you can't play games on this computer. This is what I use to do demos for my clients. I was 15. <laughs> I'm like, we're gonna play, man. I mean, we didn't have a Nintendo. Everyone else had a Nintendo. So we found like TV sports football. It's good. Oh, they're too fast. I'm a huge fan of Dragon's Lair. I decided, you know what? The PC version came out. I'm going to get it. It came on like 15 discs. And it's all video, so it, it takes up a lot of space. I found some of his software, like he had software called like PK Unzip. And so what I did was I buried, I buried the Dragon Slayer video files. So what happened was, and I never meant for this to happen, I had no idea, right? I have flaws. What are they? Oh, I don't know. He went to his client to do a demo and the hard drive was full. And Where are the Summer turtles? Sausage. Where are the turtles? Come on guys, get out of here. Where are the turtles? Let me tell you, he was living. No, God, please, no, no! Okay. He came home, he was, again, it's his own business, right? No! He was living. And he's like, what happened to my computer? I told you no games. And we kind of played it off, right? But the thing was, is he had no idea that Dragon's Lair was still there. And so he kept going to his clients and he was pulling off the, the other games and the, and the hard drive was full and it kept crashing at his clients. He was so mad. Anyway, it's a great story. It's a lot of fun. Oh, I missed them all. I might die here. This is how you do it. You gotta... Oh, not bad, not bad. I enjoy being liked. So yeah, it's just kind of a fun story. By the way, this 16 one is playing awesome. Uh, round 10, here we go, and I'm telling stories too. So by the way, big shout out to Retro Arcade Music Man. He does this all day long. He makes it look, look easy. He plays games, he tells some of the best stories, and this is kind of where I'm like, you know what? I want to do one of those. So I uh, thought, hey, I just uh, converted this arcade one up. Okay, let's see if I can survive this. I don't know. It's a lot of bad guys. Worst thing about prison was the, was the Dementors. Oh, I didn't think so. Down and they sucked the soul out of your body and it hurt. There it is, round 10. So I want to thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the story. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, you know, when you can look back 30, 40 years and you can have one of, some of these crazy moments in life and later on they become super funny. So we got a lot of cool stuff coming. 
Uh, I'm gonna be playing Back for Blood next. It's my next video. I've been waiting 12 years to play Back for Blood, to play the, the successor to Left 4 Dead 2. So Back for Blood is like the spiritual successor, as they, as they say. And after that, we're gonna do our Man Cave Tour 2.0. I've made a lot of changes, and I can't wait to show you everything. So again, I wanna thank you all for, for hanging out. And I want to thank everyone who subscribed and, and all the awesome support. And um, remember, the game's never over. And I'll see you next time.